We were at the Myrtle Leisure Centre, selling up promotions, uh, Dragonfire. You know, with Craig Kennedy, Craig just uh, had a bit of a war with uh, Wally Camacho for two rounds. Yeah. Uh, looking good in there. Thank you. Uh, how do you say the airport performance there? Well, you know, firstly, again, I want to apologise to all the paying customers. It was a bit of a letdown, you know. I always seem to have bad luck. You know, it was, uh, he come, he wasn't in shape, as you could see. You know, we seen that at the weigh-in. And uh, he expected to, you know, me being only ranked number 42 in the country, I think he expected to have an easy ride, overlook me. And, you know, I expected uh, to ride the storm in the first four rounds and then get back into the fight because, you know, I live boxing. But I got up there, it was a lot easier than I expected. You know, I knew that I was levels above him. I told you that before this fight. So, you know, I'm just r repeating what I said before. And I just showed, he was, you know, way out of his depth. And, you know, he, he looked for a way out. And, you know, I, I don't know if he's got a history of it, but elbows, headbutts, we're in a fight. You know, you can sort of, you know, grin and bear, things like that. But to bite someone, you know, is disgusting and yeah. it's not good for boxing. Where did he actually bite you? He actually bit me on the neck. Um, he went in, I did, really didn't expect it. I had him cut, I had his nose spread all over his face. You know, I was picking him off at ease. He caught me with a couple of sh shots, nothing that I was worried about. He, didn't have the power I thought he'd have and it was easier than expected and you know I knew for a fact when I went back after the first round I said to my trainer I said the fourth round he said don't look for it I knew fourth round I was going to break him down and then take him out there's a lot of doubt there's well not a lot of doubt but a lot of no, questions there was all well, right doubt there's and questions yeah. uh, to be asked and I think you answered them all there well again I'm a bit you know let down that I didn't manage to portray my you know what I've been doing in the gym day to day but I think in them two rounds you could see that I was a level above him he knew it and like I said I don't think he's that type of guy you know he just act rash in the caught up in the moment and, and, and he bit me you know the referee clearly seen it the referee wouldn't have stopped it on a 50 50 he's seen what happened he was the closest person to us when you watch it back tonight when you go home I want you to watch it and you'll see it for yourself the camera is no hiding what was what he saying to you after that he was trying to tell me I never did. I went down I was just breathing I put my mouth on your neck he bit me you know but again like I said it's, I'm not gonna cry over spilt milk I'm just devastated that I didn't play it down keep him in the fight and then take him out like he knew he would, what was gonna happen yeah uh, just catch him with a straight right yeah. All the time in the well, first round he's caught him, split his nose open. Yeah. What do you think? And then you got this? Yeah, like, like I said, for the moment I left the training room, I knew I'd got it. The moment I sold 300 tickets, I had no choice but to win. I'm in the sport, I'm a winner, 10 and 0, you know, I'm not in it to make the numbers up. And, and you know, it was just a bit easier than I expected, that's the truth. And it just answered a few things in my own head. And to be honest with you, even I want to thank everyone who turned out today, but more to the point, I proved something to myself, you know. And again, it was only two rounds, but I knew the way. He was going. I let him touch me a couple of times and he didn't have the power I expected, didn't have the fluent movement, levels above him. Would you question yourself at all going into the fight? No, not going in. I knew I'd win. I was always going to find a way to win. That's what I do. But I really thought that it was going to be a hard, hard. I was going to have to ride a storm for four rounds, maybe not get my own way in the first half of the fight and then weighed him down and then start picking him off. Yeah. And you know, I just went in there nice and relaxed, listened to my trainer. He said, stay behind the jab, mark him up. I know he marks up easy, cuts on both eyes. And just stay relaxed and just, you know, we just work everything off a jab. That's what I tried to do. And, you know, it just took me a little while to adjust. I've been doing a lot of work with us orthodox fighters. So, in all honesty, I can come out with it now. I haven't had one sparring session with a southpaw. So, I was just finding my, my distance and, you know. But it is what it is. I'd love a rematch. And, and I would we'll be willing to do it at my next fight if everyone wants to see it again. And you better come in shape because his next time he's getting knocked out. Yeah, uh, that's obviously put you up in the rankings as well now. A lot of people are going to know who Craig the Kid Kennedy is. Yeah. And there should be some uh, big names and big fights to come, yeah? Fingers crossed, yeah. 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 That's what I'm in the game for, so yeah. What are you hoping for next? Um, you know, again, I'm going to go back now, enjoy a couple of weeks off. You know, when I say a couple of weeks off, just, just relaxing, just tick over. And uh, I'll just sit down with Steve Robinson, my manager, trainer, and we'll see what, the, what, what his next uh, idea is, you know. But definitely another top 10 uh, contender in Britain. I don't want to go backwards, and no, I want to go forwards, plowing through them all. You know, you've got quite a few options out there. They all know who they are. So, you know, I'm here, I'm ready, and if anyone fancies a challenge, let's get it on. Brilliant. Well, Craig, I appreciate your time as always. Yeah. Congratulations on your win and uh, I'll catch up with you soon. You're a good man, thank you very much. Take care.